Welcome back to your live continuing coverage on Be Terrific of NAB 2016, live in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Michael Archis. You're the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special at Be Terrific TV on all social media. We're on hugvr.com slash Be Terrific TV, streaming 360 video live. We're on Facebook live. YouTube live and of course our own site beterrific.com as well as our wonderful syndication partners who are all carrying our live stream feed from live stream. My good friend Mr. Kurt Rogers is joining us now. He is the founder of my favorite bag company in the entire world, Think Tank Photo, which probably needs a video at the end of it now because these are your video bags. People have been using them for video gear forever but now you are officially a video bag company announcing the newest video bags. Yeah, Mike, thanks for having us. Um, it's always such a pleasure to hang out with you. Gosh, I wish we lived closer so we could even have more fun. I do too. We're going to have to figure that out through VR. I'm going to have to come visit more. Without Absolutely. a doubt, I wish we lived closer. Uh, we do have a lot of fun. We hang out. and. Um, we don't see each other enough. And no. you, you recently won an award. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. were in studio right after that. Yeah, absolutely. And that was for Think Tank. You guys yeah. have done a tremendous job with the company. One of the things I love the best about the, the bags, not only are they durable, but they're discreet. This doesn't look like a camera bag. That doesn't look like a camera bag. They're very functional, a million pockets, and they're the most durable bags in the world. And you have the best customer service. Check this out, though. This is for... An Inspire. An Inspire. Yeah, Inspire Backpack. Uh, We've had a lot of people, well, first of all, we brought in a whole new line um, for NAB yeah. um, and just announced it uh, yesterday, which we brought in rig rollers, which our people wanted to put their rigs together and not in, you know, like you and I did in New York, right. um, roll your camera from one spot to another and not have to take it apart, not have to deal with it and not have to, and not have to have people see it as you're walking through the you know, sure. streets. So we came up with a whole bunch of bags that uh, help people that are one-man bands, right. you know? And so. it, it, absolutely. It's a lot better when you don't have to take the rig apart. I, I like that. Uh, and and they, these travel well, protect your gear well. You guys think of everything. Uh, they really are. They're the best bags ever. And I just love them. I got to tell you. And you've created them. You came up with them. You said you were a photographer forever, and you said, I could do this better. You and your wife, Deanne, and Doug got together, and, and you made a great bag company. The straps are great. The zippers are YKK, great zippers. Uh, this one is an Inspire bag. It'll take your Inspire without taking stuff off of it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so we're going to get one for Dave Woods. Yeah, Dave, uh, he's going to get one of these things. They're coming. We'll we'll have them in stock in uh, in May. Yeah. And um, you know, he's going to get the first one, and uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, we can't wait. And he's yeah. uh, and and Dave Kleinstein's going to use this. We're going to get him one. He's going to use this for uh, Orange is the New Black for his Inspire. He flies yep. it on uh, Orange is the New Black. Uh, it's it's phenomenal. This is great. And what you don't know about this bag because you can't see is it's got straps so you can wear it as a backpack. It is a backpack and yeah. a lot of people have been wanting uh, to carry their uh, drones up to, um, you know, up in mountains and places that you just can't really, you know, strap to just a drone sure. on your backpack. So it's really nice to put all of your controllers and everything in there. That's a uh, video camera bag. I imagine Absolutely, you, just yep. for a video, um, a single video single camera, video kind of an camera. old, I don't old. want to say old school, but it's not a yeah. DSLR. Yeah. It's not really a cinema camera. This is going to be a video camera uh, that an ENG guy might use sure. today. Sure, sure. And we made them so really stiff. So. Let me see this thing. Yeah. And just like um, me, right? So you could pretty much uh, <laughs> stand on it if you really wanted to. So you've got all these pockets inside. Wow, it's got a lot of padding. Yep, it's Kurt, pretty you guys well padded. Have outdone yourself on yeah. this. Yeah, wow. no, it's all good. And you can move we, things uh, around. We talked to a lot of different uh, production companies uh, in the Bay Area that we uh, work with, and um, and they helped us uh, figure it out. Um, I know what they wanted. I was waiting for the phone call. You just deal with the people in the yeah, Bay. Yeah, well, you know, we'll what get a, you. We'll get you on the plane. Get you out there one of these days. I would love to do that. I want to come by. I've never come by. Yeah. What What do we call this? This wonderful thing. This is a, a video rig bag. Yeah. Um, and it's. I want to show people inches. how big it is. Yeah. Can I show yeah, them? Absolutely. I think it's big enough that I could get into it. Yeah. This is risky because it's yeah. live. Yeah. You know what happened with three-legged thing? Yeah. Well, I broke I the tripod. Yeah. Well, so you know, um, you've been working out. So. Uh, let's see if if the bag can handle it. Maybe uh, somebody could hand me that stick mic over there. And uh, we'll turn on microphone five. And am I on, Kevin? Great, I'm on. All right, so we're going to have a little bit of fun here. Let me uh, tuck okay. my cable in. I'll stay, I'm staying here. You're going to stay there. Let's see what we can do. Let, Kevin, do we have a shot of this bag on the product camera? Are you ready for this, Kurt? I'm ready. Adam, I'm help ready. me uh, take this stuff out. You're going to be able to yeah. put this back in for display oh, of course. later, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It doesn't really Let's matter. Do I mean, the point is you, it's so you put strong. the dividers wherever. It's really tough. Oh, but, man. Yeah. This is kind of amazing. 
Look at this bag. I think I can get in with the divider. <laughs> You're going to need I, I am the divider, short. yeah. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm, okay, folks, I'm not the biggest guy in the world. All right. You're Just out of respect, because I'm coming into your home now, I'm going to take my shoes off, okay? <laughs> All right, now everybody sees I have gold toes on. Here we go. You there guys you go. ready? I'm Here we go. The same All right. There. You guys are going to get ready to pack me up and wheel me out? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, just, there you go. I did it. <laughs> All right, I somebody, you that. don't have to take the rig apart. I could just go to the next production like this. <laughs> When's Infocom start? Just wheel me out, put me on the plane. You know Jack would love this. My son would love this. What's up, Giacomo? He would go in this bay. This could be his house. You could put yeah. him in there with all his toys. Yes. I love it. Can I um, get some help getting out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to show people how big this bag is, and you guys make a bigger bag that we showed at CES, which yes. I call the coffin. What do you guys yeah. actually call that? The 50? Production Manager 50. Yeah. And we have a 30, a 40, and a 50. Is this the weirdest interview you've ever done? <laughs> It's, it's, <laughs> I, it, well, it's, the, we just debuted the bag, so you're the first person in it. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I might need a massage later from one of the masseuses down the uh, row here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in here comfortably. It's very comfortable, by the way. Hey, uh, Adam, you think you could roll me around a little? No, I, I weigh too much. Okay, I get it. Uh, all right, Kurt, you talk for a minute, and okay, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll sneak and out. i get you out. Yeah. So the, the bags have our same uh, warranty and... Uh, the zippers and everything, YKK, all the wheels and everything. If you break them when you're out running around, we replace them. We'll replace them for free. And it's all, even you can uh, work on them yourself. It's pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, it is. And it's really, yeah. it's really works. So I see you're, uh, you, you missed your shoes there, but that's good. Well, I, I figure instead of stopping to, uh, I figure instead of stopping to, you know, re, you know, we, I, I figure that I'll do it later. I don't want to stop the interview. We got a good flow good, going. Good, good. So I'll put my shoes on later. Yeah. I don't need yeah. them to do an interview. This so, is the uh, first interview I've ever done without shoes on. Without shoes? Well, technically, I interviewed Cousin Brucey once, <laughs> and uh, that was radio. Uh -huh. And halfway through the interview, I was laying on my couch. See, he blew me off like three times. It was uh -huh. a, a radio interview, and we were taping it. And I'd wake up, I don't like getting up early in the morning, and I'd wake up early in the morning, and I'd get myself, because I'm not a morning person, I have to get really get up for the interviews. And uh, so I'd, I'd wake up super early, and he blew me off three times. No. Yeah. And uh, my mother was so excited about this interview. She had a crush on Cousin Brucey since she was a little girl. And he was a great guy, and he blew me off three times. I'd get all ready. I'd get showered so that I could I'd get dressed. I'd, you know, I, 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 would, I don't even do voice, uh, you know, warm-ups, but I would, you know. And I'd walk around and go, hey, and then I'd be like, hey, 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 because my voice is terrible in the morning. Uh, hello. Isn't everybody? And so then I would, let's get ready. And I just keep like trying to get my voice up. And I get it there. And then I call him and he go, uh, hey, Michael, <laughs> it's Cousin Brucey. Can we do this tomorrow? He blew me off three times. Yeah. So then I, uh, I, 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 I didn't get ready in time. So your mom still I, liked him, I'm sure. Oh, See, yeah. Deanne would have been here, but she's visiting her mother on the East Coast for her birthday. I wish Deanne was here. Yeah. So, so uh, Deanne's your wife, and she's yeah. uh, helped found the company, and she's yeah. a, a Pulitzer Prize-winning photographer. Yeah, um, actually, you, uh, she was just uh, announced uh, she's a Nikon ambassador now. Congratulations. Yeah. That's wonderful. So that's I love good. Nikon. So anyway, so I'm interviewing Cousin Brucey. I get yeah. up, I'm groggy. I put it together, and I call him. I think he's going to cancel again fourth time. And he goes, hey, it's Cuz, you ready? And I go, okay, halfway through the interview, laying on my couch doing this, uh, and I got the headset on, I got all the microphone stuff out, and I realized, uh, whoa, uh, this is a little weird. And, and I got like, I freaked out. It was early in my career, and I freaked out. Oh, my God, uh, I'm doing this with no clothes on, and Cousin Brucey's, this is so unprofessional. And then I realized the beauty about radio is that radio you paint the picture it's it's all about the imagination i realized he had no idea so there was, i got comfortable again and just kept doing the interview and he loved the interview that's the only time i've had you know i'm doing it with no shoes yeah i've done it with well, no shoes know, before I mean, I, if you took your suit off i bet you could have got all the way in the i bag. think i could have yeah. yeah would you like me hey, <laughs> it is vegas after all uh well maybe if deanne was here she yeah. might like there that better go. uh so uh, you guys uh, created this company and it's amazing to see it grow you've celebrated your 10th anniversary congratulations yep. Um, and really, you've done it with no marketing. It's just word of mouth. And right. a, a guy named uh, Willie Hauser made fun of me when I was using some other bags. Said, "You got to use this stuff." And we were with Michael Strahan, and we couldn't get into this building in New York City because security had gotten tight. And I couldn't get in. He got right in because of the bag, and I wound up getting talking my way in, of course. 
and I went out and bought uh, the, the Urban Disguise 50 right after that, or 60, I think. Uh-huh. And then I bought the, uh, the rollers and all that stuff. I love your bags. This is phenomenal. Um, it's very cool. Well, thank and you. And they're durable, oh clearly. Yeah. I mean, I didn't we break it. We came up it. with a new color, too, which is, uh, I mean, all of the rest of our Think Tank like products are black. Um, we came up with this Navy. slate color. Yeah. And, um, You're calling it slate. We're calling I'm color blind. Slate. Yeah, well, you it's, know, some people call it green. Some people call it blue. We've had people come into our, uh, our booth and say, well, do you still make black? <laughs> uh, and I love this. There's no other bag that really does this where you have these collapsible arms so that it holds it open because otherwise that flap gets heavy with batteries and everything right, and then it's right. flopping over. Yeah, you guys think of everything. It so it doesn't uh, you know, flop over. and. Yeah. Hey, crush. Adam, grab my uh, shapeshifter real quick, please. Uh, I want to show you something. Yeah? Yeah. If shapeshifter will fit in that. I know. Well, of course my shapeshifter will fit in that, but I want to show you. I didn't do this just for you. I wanted to show you that I actually use the bags all the time. Usually I use the perspective or the shapeshifter. Yeah. And uh, I, I wanted to show you what I, I got. I hear you've been just giving bags to your, uh, you know, no. your cohorts and things I like don't. that. I don't. Okay. I don't. All right. I, I do not give the bags away. Okay. I refuse yeah. to. All right. Here it is. Look at this. Look at this. This is my you know, bag. We just, we're, I don't we're, let people use my bag. We're bags. working on shapeshifters again. Yeah, that's why I wanted to show it to you. Look at yeah. this. I have had this bag for six years. Something yeah, like that. I mean, that. that thing looks brand it new. It looks still. brand new, I mean, right? You know, most of the little, you know. Look at this. It's full of, of stuff. I mean. That's good. Yeah. So should we go through your bag? or No, I'm kidding. I don't we want could. To go your Look, I've got anti cough medicine. That's from yeah. the doctor. <laughs> I've got a Mophie. Yeah. I mean, what's in my bag? I've got a Android phone to show off VR. Do we have an? Let's just put it all in that bag and see how high it gets filled. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I don't think it'll work. Because yeah, we'd have to unpack it. I think you've, you know, you've, I've, 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 yeah, all right. I think you've done it. We've done yeah. this before. This is the yeah, clown that, car. This bag is. I still use the bag. I brought yeah. all my camera equipment out here to shoot. Um, I ended up in, going up to the uh, to the dam and running around and wow. Lake Phoenix. You want to take a helicopter ride later and shoot some VR? <laughs> I kind of want to do it. Um, I'm done. My helicopter days are over. Come on. Oh, yeah. You and yeah. Holtz go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, man. Yeah. So what are you doing with the shapeshifter now? Um, I'm just, you know, we are looking at it in a couple different ways and trying to, you know, recreate a few things and make it just a little bit better. It is amazing. I think it's perfect. So I can't wait to see what better would be. The padding yeah. on it is great. The zippers are great. Yeah. I've never hurt a think tank bag and, and uh, we've got a wall of them and you're, you know, I don't let anybody use them. I don't. I, I mean, some of them they get to use, but they don't get to use my backpacks. Right. And and right. that uh, the, what's the one you brought me? The Retro Ten. The Retro, yeah. Yeah, you brought I me brought that years 10, ago uh, here I at think NAB. I brought you a seven. Two seven, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it was a seven. Yeah. I love that bag. Nobody, if anybody touches it, they immediately incinerate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's so nice to come over here and see it's that great you know, to you've you. uh, you've got all airports international over there. Yeah. I think a security uh, something else. We're all so. think tank, baby. I know. It's good. We should be. A, we're a walking think tank. Well, yeah. You should see us go guys, through the airport. That's why we can still stay in business. Oh, that's too kind. Thank you. <laughs> hey, uh, you used to show, shoot Joe Montana. Absolutely. And you were like friendly yeah. with him. Oh, yeah. What was I, that like? Uh, well, one of the uh, times we got to shoot, how I got friendly with him is yeah. I was assigned to shoot uh, uh, a threes company kind of thing. Uh, it was uh, Joe Montana, Dwight Clark, and they were living all together with him and Ashley, which is Dwight's wife. And, wow. um, and so they, I got assigned over there to uh, somehow take a picture of all three of them. So back in the day, this was film days. Um, I ended up putting a little remote, a wire remote on a film camera and throwing it in the middle of the back of the refrigerator and have them all open it up and look through. They didn't have, you know, like four bottles of water and a, you know, a couple of cliff bars. I didn't even think they had cliff bars at that time, but there's, you know, like Gatorade or yeah. some sort of thing was in there and I had to move them around so I could get, and then, uh, you know, 36 frames, that's it. <laughs> Uh, you made your, your, your name in photography uh, being able to shoot these, like, blurry photos. It, not blurry, <laughs> right? But it shows if slow Dan's shutter. And she's going to crack Hey, up. Deanne, how are you? We miss you. Get over here, Deanne. Blurry photos. It's not blurry. Yeah. It's, it's I, slow shutter speed. I love the slow shutter speed. Yeah, yeah. so you'd have the blur, but yeah. just the head in focus. Yes, exactly. So those Michael Jordan dunk shots that you see yeah, with him you blur. Yeah, yeah. That's you. You know, I, I worked really hard at the yeah. blurry photos. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was a look, and um, you created that look. It should be called the Kurt Rogers look. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, worked it really hard. You shot a hockey game for me. I did. That I played yeah. in. I haven't even seen the, um, you know, any the, of the, You shot some good photos. I was talking to Dave, and I asked yeah. him if it was... Uh, 
if, if anything came out and you told me that he photoshopped the crowd in the background. Yeah, well, you know, I not not on my shots, and I didn't want that. I just want a shot of me playing hockey. Yeah. Dave decided it wasn't good enough. You were the best guy on the on the ice, Thank by you. the way. Thank you. Yeah. You're too kind. Yeah, that you, little low center of gravity, man. You had everybody flying. <laughs> Thank you. you sh- the next game, I, I put four in and had one Did assist. You really? Yeah. Oh man, yeah. I should have shot that game. You should have. I owned the ice that yeah, game. Oh, oh man, same uh, same rink too. It was yeah. same rink. But uh, what, what you got to see was you got to see me lay a guy out. Yeah, that absolutely. was pretty cool. Right? A big yeah. guy too, yeah. right? People don't realize, you know, yeah. a little ball of fire can. You you got a little bit back on those skates that one time. Man. Yeah. That scared me. I thought I was going to have to drive home. <laughs> well, you know what happened? I skated. I was the end of the game. I hadn't skated in a long time. I lost my legs. They, they died on me. Oh, I yeah. skated. You, you, see, you remember, I took the puck behind our net, skated through everybody. Yep. And I got yep. right to the goalie, and my legs just died. And I just I had yeah. nothing left. And I knew it, too. I was going to shoot, and I just I said, look, I could push it. I could push yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you have um, to get one of those jogging place things for your office. Yes. Yeah. Well, I you know just walk around NAB a lot, and sometimes I jog between sets. Yeah. Speaking of, All right. uh, yeah, we we we. We're, but Joe Mont, give me one Joe Montana story. One Joe Montana. Well, um, he oh. we we'd be on the on the team plane, and uh, he was just like a regular guy. So the the coaches sat in the front, the media sat kind of in the middle, big plane, you know, one of those five sure. rows across the middle, and we'd seven, have four, all seven. I some something. I yeah. don't remember what it was at this point. But Joe would come up and he would just basically sit there and talk like you you know, to you like you're just normal. Wow. Which is you know, interesting. And he was always the nicest guy. So if you were showed up at a practice or even a game and he was jogging by, he'd recognize you know, he'd actually sure. acknowledge that you're there. So I you know, you always appreciate that. Yeah. You know, if you're part of the media or something like that, all these guys are, you know, in a different world and they just pretend like you don't even exist. But Joe was a really, really cool guy. Gotta get those LA gears. <laughs> and that that Sega Genesis Joe Montana football. Um all right, I'm going to let you go. I really appreciate right. it. So uh, just real quick to recap, uh, Dave is a goalie, and he photoshopped in the shots you took of him making saves an entire crowd behind him. But the photos were great, by the way. He just he needed that little push. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe we can get him uh, a real crowd one of these days. That's what we got to do. Yeah. And, and, and to, uh, to recap one more time, the Inspire bag uh, and the full video line yep. from Think Tank. And there are more exactly. bags, so you got to go to thinktankphoto.com. The absolute best bags in the entire world, the only ones I use, and the creation of this wonderful gentleman Thank who's you. a good friend of mine, and yes. I'm proud to say that. Yeah, we're good friends, and yeah. I, you know, I can come out and out. You've always got an open invitation. Thank you so much. And yeah. look, now that I can fly baggage, it's only yeah. going to cost me 100 bucks to get out I, to you. I'll I just know. I, I fold your, into there. I and wonder if you can put an oxygen bottle in there with you. That's all I need. Yeah. Well, we'll poke a couple of holes. It's no big deal. <laughs> yeah. And maybe I it's need my, something to I pressure you go us. as my dog. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little doggy door. Right? Oh, there is a doggy door. What do you know? You're always good on access, giving access to these bags. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thinktankphoto.com. Kurt Rogers, thank you so much. You are the Terrifics. We'll be back with a whole lot more. Your live continuing coverage on Be Terrific right after this. Don't go anywhere. NAB 2016 from Las Vegas, Nevada. Kevin, take us away.